Ladies, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a different opinion. I am just, I can't stop laughing at this news article's headline, right? Gay penguins, Sven and Magic help children understand sexuality syllabus. Okay, this is just the most insane news article headline I've ever seen in my entire life. Rebecca Borg, you should literally resign. You are freaking horrible. How in the hell could you call yourself a journalist? And this is the absolute garbage you come up with. To be fair, if I ever seen her in person, I will say, you should quit journalism. You should quit being on news.com.au because you are a joke. Same as the company of news.com.au, typical mainstream media. They're pushing this whole agenda to sexualize little kids. Okay, in this article... They talk about talking about sexuality. So, I mean, these people work with penguins and everything at the aquarium or wherever. And they want them to talk to your kids as young as four years old. It literally says kindergarten kids can come here and learn about sexuality. So, I don't know what pops up in your mind when you say, when, let's say, there's a 40-year-old male woman. I don't know what he calls himself or she calls herself. When someone's like 40 years old and they're like, let me talk to your kid about sexuality, I straight away think, okay, alarm bells are going off. It's probably a pedo or it's probably a groomer, okay? So like, why are we trying to sexualize kids? You might just wonder that is, I don't know why. I don't know why there's this movement. It's creepy. It's scary. And to be honest with you, if I had a child and it was four years old and this person went and spoke to my kid without permission, and started talking about sexualizing, that is when I'll probably punch this person square in the face and tell him, if you ever talk to my kid again, you know what will happen. Okay, because they have no right to. Why 10 years ago would this person probably arrested for talking to a little kid about sex or sexuality? Why now is this suddenly okay? And in my opinion, and in my book, it is not okay at all. Have a look at this absolute garbage, absolute garbage of a news article, okay? I'm going to shout out Rebecca Borg. You are a joke. You are honestly a joke. Okay, so let's listen to this absolute crap. So madly in love, penguins, Sven and Magic are giving New South Wales children as young as four an insight into same-sex relationships. Yes, let's talk to kids about sex relationships. After the openly gay couple successfully raised their chick. Imagine being four years old. What is the thing that you are thinking of? You're probably thinking, I want to learn English. I want to learn maths. I want to learn what's two plus two. What's this? What's that? Oh, look at that color. What color is that? What's this on? You're not, you don't want to learn about freaking sexual relationships. So kindergartners to grade two age kids will be given the opportunity to learn the couple's story as part of a New South Wales syllabus that educates children on sexuality and consent. Oh, just, just say that you're a pedo. Just say that you are a creep. It'll just be easier. Like, you know, people will at least be able to say, okay, look, that's, that's the pedo over there. Not some random guy working with penguins trying to talk to you about sexuality. And this is the worst thing. Parents are sending these people to these things to go without even knowing what they're sending them to. And this is also happening in classrooms, as we already know. So have a listen to this creep as well. So a trans non-binary kids content creator and LGBTQ activist gives teachers a guide on bringing gender ideology into the classroom and dealing with disgruntled parents. So this... This is what I'm trying to say. You, while you might, a lot of people might not take notice, they think, oh, it's like when we went to school, right? You get dropped off, the teacher teaches you just about school things. Um, this day and age, no, they have to add in social justice. They got to add in uh, different races, sexuality. They got to pretty much change the person you are because they believe they have some sort of power over your kid. That because the reason that they probably spend about a quarter of their day in your classroom, this is obviously talking about elementary, kindergarten, etc., that you have some sort of power on them, which gives you zero right. You have no right to try and teach a kid about stuff that the parents never consented to, right? It is not in the curriculum. You should never be allowed to teach these things to kids. Now, what I was trying to say is that 
these people have hundreds of books of weirdos like this person that writes them and shows you how to teach and indoctrinate kids some say without even letting the parents know and this one says just show him this book and you know you won't even need to tell them the reason why you're doing it have a listen to this absolute creep Hiya, if you're an educator and want to bring gender and queer affirming practices into your classroom, stick around. I'm Linz, I'm a queer and trans non-binary author. So this is what's weird to me, right? So Linz is supposed to teach your kids about sexual sexuality, who they really are and you know, who they should be. When in reality, she's queer and trans non-binary, so she's you know, all these different things. How the hell is a kid going to know? I mean, it's hard enough to know that you're a man and it's hard enough to know that you're a woman, let alone all these different things on top, right? And kids creator, well known for my web series, Queer Kid Stuff. And I have a brand new book that just came out called Rainbow Parenting, Your Guide to Raising Queer Kids and Their Allies. And even though it's- Have you noticed that it's always like really creepy looking and creepy sounding and they're always smiling, like over the top smiling. They're the ones that always want to talk to your kids, right? Take notice of that every time you see something like this. Parenting book, it's really for anyone with relationships with young people. And educators are a huge, huge part of kids' lives. So I wrote a little note to educators in the beginning of the book, and I thought I would read it to you. All right, for educators, you are the vanguard of this work. Most kids spend more time in classrooms than they do at home, but... You already know that. You know the power you have over small minds, and you understand the responsibility that comes with it, or at least I hope you do. The responsibility of looking after a little child's mind. What a creep, right? Let's, she's just trying to pretty much point out, yeah, this, this is what's going to happen. This is how you get them when they're young. But the thing is as well, they don't spend more time in a classroom than they do at home. That is so not true. I mean, kids sleep for longer than you know they at least got to sleep for eight hours and the younger the kids are the more you got to try sleep as well and she thinks that they're spending more than eight hours a day in a classroom this is let alone the time that they when they come home they have dinner you know they get ready in the morning and stuff so i'm saying you're spending at least 12 hours a day at home you're not spending over 12 hours a day in a classroom you absolute freaking weirdo but anyway i just wanted to point out these creeps for you as i mean there's so much ammo if you just go online have a look yourself there are so many horrible, weird things out there. As you can see here, I just want to point out on this news article as well, this, fr this freaking fake news article, whatever the hell you want to call it. Absolute joke of a thing. I commented pedos. Um, so as you can see here, so this person wrote, it's a cute story. So this person said, so is Brokeback Mountain, and I wouldn't be showing that to fifth graders either. This is not even fifth graders, Daniel. This is kindergarten kids, okay? This is what I don't understand. Why would you say fifth graders? It's kindergarten, four-year-old kids they're talking to. You can see here as well, what garbage? Leave this crap out of school. Stop grooming children by Rob. Groomers. And then there's some people trying to defend this behavior. But as you can see, there's a thing called, if you ever go on Twitter, etc. It is called ratioing. So if there are more comments than actual likes on the actual article or video or whatever. That means that people dislike it more than they like it. So you can see here, 256 comments to 89 likes. It just shows you that this is freaking weird. This this person should be fired, whoever wrote that article. I'm definitely gonna shout out Rebecca Borg and just say you are an absolute trash of a person, in my opinion. Leave kids alone. How about go raise your own and leave other people's kids and let them talk to them about sexuality when the kid's at the right age for their parents, and that's their decision. Like the video if you liked it, please comment. Let me know what you think. Do you think that this is absolutely bonkers, like me? Please let me know, or am I the only one? And subscribe as well to see future videos. Thank you for watching.